Voice Meter is a great program overall. Over the years, I've acquired a lot of knowledge on how to get the perfect sound out of my microphone. That being said, let's get into the outputs you can use to split your audio. Your primary output is going to be voice meter output, which is what we talked about in the last video and what is going to be your main output for Windows settings. Then on top of that, you also have voice meter aux output and voice meter VAIO3 output. Splitting audio is actually super easy. You just have to remember what channels you put that program to. To do this, under your sound settings, scroll down until you see volume mixer. And then from here, you're gonna select the program. I'm gonna use Spotify and change the output to this voice meter aux. And now that that's done, if I open my Spotify and I play the music, you can see it pops up here. I can hear it, you guys cannot. Once I set my voice meter output to enable it, you can now hear it. Now this final section may not apply to everyone, but I wanna go over it. There are a few programs such as YouNow that'll ask you to mute your desktop audio to guest other people if you're streaming from OBS. Here's a workaround from that taking what we just learned and applying it to our computer. So you're gonna head over to your sound settings and then oop, scroll to volume mixer and change your Google Chrome to VAIO3. This is the only program I have on that channel. Essentially meaning that this channel, the VAIO3, is only running Chrome. I can now never force my audio through I can hear people just fine, and it doesn't cause an echo. That's the basics of audio splitting. If you felt like you might have learned something useful from the video, please leave a like. If you haven't already, check out the other video I have posted on Voice Meter Potato, how to install it, and the basics of setting it up. This is going to be a short little series about the basics of getting Voice Meter set up that'll be accessible on YouTube at all times.